Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, one of the final weeks of the semester. Uh, this is our second to last lecture. And today we're going to be talking about how to protect and hide text in, in um, Microsoft Word. So um, just a few things to keep in mind. Um, you know, these are ways to help protect your text. They're not definitively secure. Um, but you know, it's, it's a good start. So, <clears throat> um, first a, a couple of things that we can, um, do. You can, when you have a document, we, we've looked at this a little bit, um, in the track changes video very briefly, but you can restrict editing, uh, which basically limits the extent to which other editors can edit and format a document. Um, so, so, you know, if you use Google docs, um, you know, and you share a document that way, you can say whether they can view the document or edit the document. Um, and this is a method of that. If you're sharing this with a lot of people and it's a draft, but you don't want too many, you know, you don't want too many people messing with it because that could get messy, um, then you can restrict uh, editing. So I clicked that button. Um, and you can um, basically, you can, um, limit, um, so for, it starts with formatting. So basically I'll, I'll what, limit formatting to the selection of styles. That's the first thing I clicked. Um, and then you can actually go into this settings here and it will actually, you can say, uh, you can edit body text. Um, it basically, uh, you can edit indents. Yeah. You can edit captions. <laughs> um, you can edit grids. Um, you can, you know, tables so you can edit so you can change the way it text looks in terms of color or indent or whether it's bold or italicized um, or you can go and custom select those so I could actually um, take these off and then you know no one could change these headings um, at all or if I went and deselected these um, you then you could not uh, you know edit body text or uh, block text or um, I could say you can edit lots of things but you can't edit the bibliography you can't reformat the bibliography um, that you and then you know there's the preset recommended minimum um, you can also you know block you can't you can change it so no one can change the theme like they could maybe you know change uh, you know text color or whether it's italicized, but you can't change the overall theme. Um, so there's a lot you can do um, in here. Um, sure. <laughs> and and since I go in and messed with my formatting, it actually changed my formatting because I set it to styles that weren't allowed. So um, so you can also. Um, allow oh, certain types of editing so you can make it read only so they can only read the document um, you could also have it so they could you know they can't you know change the text in here uh, but they could make comments um, you could have it so they could fill in any forms that were in there um, so if you had filling in forms so say you had some sort of um, online form that you were just having someone fill out and sign digitally, you know, you could have them fill in the form, but they couldn't change, you know, the table around it or anything, the content of the form itself. Um, you could also, you know, edit changes that had already, you know, been made and tracked. Um, so you can do whatever, and then you can also add exceptions. Um, so uh, this is hard to show if I don't have a bunch of users connected to a document, but basically you would, you know, put their Windows. Um, you know, whatever email is associated with their Microsoft Word account, as you can see in 2013, um, you know, it's, you actually can be signed into Word and OneDrive uh, through a Windows account. Um, and so you would add those and, you know, make exceptions. And then when you are ready to start enforcement, you can, you know, click this button and start enforcing. I'm not going to turn that on because there are other things I want to show you. <laughs> um, but um, that's uh, the basics of how you restrict editing. Again, it is not a completely uh, perfect tool. Um, so if you saved something as um, read only, someone could in theory go to the trouble of saving, doing a save as, making a new copy, editing it, and attempting to distribute it. Um, 
is that likely to happen? Not entirely. Could it happen? Yes. These are these are just things uh, that it's that are important to keep in mind. So um, so other ways we can protect our documents. Uh, so I went into this file tab right here, and we have um, what's called protect document. There are lots of things we can. So we've already covered restrict editing. Um, we can also, again, restrict access. Um, this one, again, hard to show with um, without other people to add to the doc, uh, add to the document, um, and um, you have to actually connect to, you know, a um, sort of an outside thing um, outside of Word. Um, but and we covered digital signatures. Um, but so you can. Uh, that this restrict access is similar to what we looked at in the restricting editing um, sidebar. <clears throat> so um, two other things you can do. You can mark a document, say you've made all of your revisions and you want it to be final. You can mark as final um, and then it will be saved. Um, and then when you open it again, it will be read only. Um, So then you get this, um, it's proofing marks are turned off, um, and you can see that it is read only. Uh, now, but as you notice, it's not foolproof. It doesn't completely turn off editing. So you get this yellow bar, marked as final, and author has marked this document as final to discourage editing. Well, they can just go click edit anyway. So the, the um, that um, save as final, that's a, it's a good start, but again, it's not super secure. Um, it does give that nice warning. You can also encrypt with a password. This is not secure the way like super actual real encryption is. So please don't confuse this with that. <laughs> um, this is really just adding a password so that, um, so uh, reasons you might add a password to a document. Um, say you're sending someone just some secure information and you want to keep them from, you know, from, you know, someone else hops on their computer and you don't want them to open it. Um, again, passwords can be hacked. It's not 100% secure, um, but it's also better than nothing. So you just have to enter the password. Um, and take note of this, if you lose or forget the password, it cannot be recovered. <laughs> um, Word notes that it is advisable to keep a list of passwords and their corresponding document names in a safe place. Um, pardon my dog. Uh, <laughs> uh, what that safe place is, you know, um, keeping your list of passwords is again also not entirely secure. But um, I'm going to put in a password, hit OK, and then I have to confirm the password. And now a password is required to open the document. So if I want to open it again, um, so I'll close it. We're gonna we're gonna save to make sure that sticks. And now I don't remember where I saved this to. That's awesome. <laughs> um, ah, there it is. It's in my documents. And now I enter the password, and I can get into the document. Um, so there we go. And see, since I had turned off that, since I pressed that edit anyway button, this, this comes up. Um, so it's not really uh, the final version. <laughs> so hide, um, hide text. Um, so this is also not an incredibly super secure way to, you know, keep things private. Um, but, you know, if there's some text in there you just don't want someone to see, um, it's a way to do that. Keep in mind it is easy to turn off if someone knows their way around Word. So highlight the text you want to hide. Go into font, click this little arrow, click hidden. So we're in effects, hidden. That text goes away. Now what do I mean that it's easy if someone knows their way around Word to figure out? Well, so here's that show hide button. So now the text comes back up because we've turned on all of our form, this, this show all of formatting. Um, so it's, the text shows up, it's underlined with these little dotted lines to show it's hidden. Um, but it comes back so you can see it. Alternately, 
Um, and then this is actually uh, a good feature from, um, this is an upgrade from 2010. In 2010, it was actually easy to just uncheck hidden and then everything would show. So, um, but again, if someone really wants to check and they know what this button does, anything you hide will show back up again. So, uh, but it is a useful tool um, in case you ever want to use it. Um, so those are the basics of how to protect and hide text in Word. Again, not the highest level of security, but also better than nothing. So, um, you know, it's a good start. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, we are wrapping up. At, uh, we're coming down toward the end of the semester. You guys have been fantastic. Um, and I look forward to seeing those final projects. So have a good week.